What's up, what's up with your girl, Wabi I have a really fun challenge that I'm gonna do today. I don't know if I'm the original person to do it as I haven't seen other people do it. I've seen stuff like, you know, the thousand layers of nail polish and the thousand layers of uh, foundation and that kind of thing. But this is a little bit different in the sense that I am going to put every piece of makeup that I own on my face, AKA full face using all the makeup that I own. Luckily for me, I don't own like a million different products because I don't get like PR or any of that crazy stuff. So I just, everything that I have is bought with my own money. So therefore there's not much of it compared, compared to like, you know, what it could be if I was like cray cray rich, but you know. So let's just get right into it with primers. So how I'm gonna do it is I'm going to kind of like try and show a little bit of snippet of every piece that I'm applying just so you get the idea and that I'm not cheating or anything like that but like it's kind of I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best. All right so primers. I only have two primers so it's not too bad um, but we're going to start with uh, the Benefit Professional. I don't really know if it's worth even using a mirror but I'm oh my god that was like so much I did not need to use that much. Ugh. Veil by Hourglass. I'm pretty sure this is like an under the foundation thing, so I'm gonna use this first. So Josie Moran Argan Enlighten Illuminizer. Now that my face is illuminized, we're going to use foundation. So let's get right into that. I'm gonna use my chubby mermaid brush. I'm really sorry, my little mermaid brush, but it's the best for applying foundation. So I'm gonna do that so that I get the most coverage out of it, you know? I have very little left, but Smashbox Studio Skin. Crop Natural Liquid Foundation in Ivory. Rimmel London Lasting Finish. All right, we're really starting to get cakey now. Of course, my favorite, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Oh fuck, oh shit. Oh, I didn't realize I had that much left, fuck. Drag it down your neck, babes. You wouldn't want it to not match. Now we want to do concealer. So we're going to start off with Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Does anybody remember the peanut butter ad where that like really oily peanut butter comes out and it's like, ooh, eat me. And the kid's like, ew, too oily. That's what I look like right now. Australis Bright Eyes Banana Colored Correcting Concealer. Ooh. Blending, blending. Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Concealer. I'm starting to crack, oh no. Benefit Boy Oin Concealer. Both sides of my e.l.f. concealer. And now because we don't want our foundation to crack, we need to set it with powder. So let's start doing that. CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder. NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder. Urban Decay Naked Skin Powder Foundation. Astralis Fresh and Flawless. Maybelline Matte Maker. Can make something. I got it in Japan. <laughs> now that our skin is looking damn pale, we need to contour. So we'll start off building the shades. So we'll start off with Cocoa Contour Palette, starting in medium cocoa to bronze. Nose, we want to snatch the nose a little bit, girl. Then I'm going into my Balm Voyage palette to hit up this Croeso color. Ooh. Then we're going to use Benefit Cheek Parade in Hula Light. Oh dear Jesus, I totally forgot that I have a contour kit in cream. Shit. Okay, so we're just going to um, put the <laughs> The cream contour on using one of my simple glam girls contour brushes at Rabbi K for 10% off babes. Oh my god. Beauty blender to the rescue babes. And it's mixing with the powder. Excellent. That is not what I wanted, but whatever. Oh my god, it's rubbing off. <laughs> I rubbed a bit off. Shit. This is not blending with my rest of my makeup. La la la. If I had a thought about this more. I would have done the cream contour first. Now that we've built some baseline, we're going to actually chisel with contour. So we're going to start with Benefit Cheek Parade in Hall of Dark. Chisel, babes. Back to Coco Contour for dark Coco. And we're just gonna build again with the Balm Voyage, same color, it's just that it's real dark. I'm pretty sure you can use it to build color. Oh my goodness. And all the colors are like separating because of the foundation being so wet. But you know, 
I feel like it's a look. Now we're going to use blush, both of my balm shades, starting with the dark shade. Then we're going to go into the lighter shade. Back to Cheek Parade, we're going to go for Rocker Tour. Then we're going to use California. And then Dandelion. Then we're going to use some Too Faced Flush Blush. Now we're going to get into highlight. Starting off with Elf Moonlight Pearls. Then Too Faced Candlelit Glow. Girl, Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Inglot Sparkling Dust. Sports Girl On The Glow Palette, starting with the bronze shades. Now the darker bronze. Now we're going to use the yellow. And of course the pink. Sports Girl On The Glow Amazing Palette. Starting with this bronzy shade here. Dipping into this bottom one here called Ocean Pearl. Then we're going to use this pinky opaly colour which I love. And the game changer which is going to be this blue here. Flawless. Going back into the Balm Voyage palette we're going to use this fantastic highlight which I love. It's really going to drive on home the glow. Then we're going to use the Kat Von D Alchemist palette and we are going to start off with green emerald I think. Then we're going to use blue sapphire. Then ultraviolet. And last but certainly not least we're going to use pink. We'll do brows next because I don't have heaps of brow products, so I'm going to start off with a Cabrow by Benefit. Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. Give Me Brow by Benefit. L'Oreal Brow Art Genius Kit. I feel like this is just taking the colour off. Ready, set, brow so we can make sure that they stay all day. Next we want to use High Brow by Benefit to really accentuate how high they are. We just want to blend that in. Funnest part, we are going to do the eyes. So I'm going to use every palette I have. I'm going to just do one shade over the top of each other because I feel like that's going to get the best result. So let's do it. Starting off with the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay. I'm sorry, little Too Faced brush. And I'm just going to go from one side to the other. I think that's the easiest way as well. Shade 2. Shade 3. Shade 4. Shade 5, shade 6, how about I zoom you guys in, <laughs> might make it a little bit more fun, shade 7, shade 8, shade 9, oh my god fallout, I didn't even think about fallout, shade 10, oh my god I went too close to the inner of my eye, oh fuck, and the final shade. Oh my god. Then we're going to go in with Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Shade 1, shade 2, shade 3, shade 4, shade 5, shade 6. This is just really bringing another dimension to it. I'm living. Oh god. Shade 7, shade 8. It's getting in my eyebrows. Shade 9, shade 10, shade 11. I'm going to make sure that we get rid of the fallout because we don't want it to look bad. Like, how embarrassing. Shade 12, shade 13, shade 14. Then we're going to use the Meat Matte Nude palette by The Balm. Shade 2, shade 3. Too many brown shades, man. Shade four, shade five. I really should not have done eyes last. Uh, Bon Voyage is next, people. So we have a nine shade. Ugh. I just took the biggest chunk out of it. Oh my God, you fucking nail. All right, as I was saying, we have nine shades. So let's just start the way we have. Left to right, shade two, shade four, shade five, <laughs> shade six, Shade 8. Shade 9. Now we're going to use Kat Von D's Pastel Goth Palette. This should really brighten me up. Shade 2. Shade 3. Shade 4. Shade 5. 
This green looks sick. Oh my god, I'm so allergic. Ugh. And last but not least, we are going to use the Kat Von D palette again because it is not only a highlighter, but it is an eyeshadow as well. So we're just going to do exactly what we did last time, which is start with green, blue, purple, and pink. Okay, now we need to line the eyeliner. So let's just get straight into it. So I'm going to start lining the eyes with Marc Jacobs's lip eye thing in blue and then again in black oh how could I forget I have this um, like eye topper crayon so we're just gonna put that over the top of my eyelid as well beautiful now for liquid liner we're gonna start off with Maybelline Master Precise and I don't usually do one-handed, so don't judge me if the wing's wonky, all right? That actually came out really surprisingly better than it should have. Okay, so now I have some NYX Vivid Brights, which I will be doing for liner as well, starting with purple. Red. Green. And finally, yellow. And all the colors are going together to make a beautiful poo color on one side. Amazing. Now we're going to do some mascara. Starting with CoverGirl's 1 2 Bombshell Volume by Lash Lust. Lash Blast. CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion by Terry. Growth Booster. Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs again. Mini sized. My eyes look like there are spiders in them. And finally, to complete eyes, we are using Stilla Glitters. Sweet angel. Now for the final bit, we need to put lips on. And I have a lot of lipsticks. So I reckon I'll do it in brand. So we'll start with Maybelline. Alright, now we're going to use Australis. Jeffree Star. Mac. Mermaid Salon. Talk about overline. Mark Jacobs. We did it! And to finally set it all up. Yay! That is the final product. So this is every single piece of makeup on my face. I feel disgusting. I need a four hour shower and um, I'm pretty sure my skin is suffocating underneath here. But I think my lips are the favourite. I look like that episode of The Simpsons where Homer like gets the gun and shoots Marge in the face with the makeup gun. That is me right now. Oh, that looks disgusting. Oh no. There we go, fixed. So what do you think? Did I do a good job? I think I did a great job. So there you have it. Every single piece of makeup that I own is on my face right now. This is what you get when you combine beautiful makeup products by beautiful people. I've ruined my lipsticks and uh, yeah. This is quite possibly the most time consuming thing I've ever done. I look like a dickhead. If you like me, if you liked this video, if you like watching me make a fool of myself, then you gotta like, you gotta comment, you gotta subscribe people, you got to subscribe. Buzzword, buzzword, buzzword. And I will see y'all bitches later, but I'm off to take a shower. Ooh.